everyone, I'm Julie and welcome back. I have got a collab video for you today. This is my very first collaboration. I feel special. It is with my very good friend Lynette McGee. She has a channel here on YouTube. All of her information will be down below. Well, the video will, that will take you over to hers. But what we decided to do was a couple weeks ago, it was about a month ago, uh, the Patty Dubroff Perfect palette was on Holt Look. And I have owned this palette before. Uh, she only has two of them out, and they're sold exclusively, her whole line is sold exclusively by Costco. And, of course, I'm a Costco ho, so I have owned this palette before, but I gave it away to somebody at some point. Because y'all know me, I don't do the muted browns and stuff, so I'm much too, um, you know, gaudy than that. <laughs> I'm much louder than that. So, she was really wanting the unzipped Lorac, uh, the Lorac unzipped palette. And this is very, very similar to it. So I called her and I'm like, Lynette, get on Hope Look and look at the perfect palette from Patty DeBroff. It's just like, you know, it's very, very similar anyways to the Lorac unzipped palette. And it's only 20 bucks. So we go over there and look. We both ordered it. Um, you know, like I said, I've had this palette before. So I knew that I would like it, especially since I'm starting to get into browns a little bit more. And I knew that she would like it. So... After we hung up and oohed and odd and whatever, then I got to thinking, wait a minute. Now, I have had Patty's entire, really, she doesn't have a very big line. So when I say I've had her entire line, it's not really that much. So, but I have had her entire line. And I remembered that I had had her other palette as well, and I got it at Costco. So I went to Costco online, uh, Costco.com, and sure enough, there it was. Now, some warehouses this is in. Actually, some warehouses both of these are in. But in mine, I think I seen this there maybe a couple years back, but it hasn't been there for quite some time. Or I probably would have picked it up before now. But I went online and I ordered myself one, and I thought, well, I can't order one for me and not one for Lynette. So I got her one, too, and sent it over. Well, she hasn't gotten it yet, but she will hopefully by next weekend. And our collab that we can do, we can do this palette next weekend. But the reason why we, we decided to do this is because we shop a lot together online. You know, we'll be like texting or texting fools. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, head over to Beautylish. Check out that sale. And, you know, and, and we're bouncing back and forth buying the same things. And so we thought, man, we we have the the product and ability to do a really good series with, you know, one of us doing a day look and one of us doing a night look. Or one of us doing a summer look and one of us doing a, a winter look or something like that, you know, because we have so much of the same stuff. Well, <clears throat> We decided, I asked her the other day, I said, hey, why don't we go in and do, why don't we name it, um, what do we say, Friday Fab, Day to Night, uh, One Palette, Two Looks. Yeah, that's it. Friday Fab, Day to Night, One Palette, Two Looks. And we're going to do it on Fridays, obviously. If you guys like this little collaboration series thing we got going on, then give us a thumbs up and let us know, and we will keep doing this for you. But on uh, every Friday night, either her or I, we're going to switch around and, you know, who does the day and who does the night. But this week, which is tomorrow, is when both of our videos will be uploaded. Um, she has the day and I have the night. So, although, you know, I got to tell you, in person, this looks like a really heavy eye. But I'm not sure how it's going to look on the camera because I noticed a lot, a lot of times my eyes look like I've got them on really strong. And then when I see them on camera, I'm like, well, that don't look very strong. You know, so <clears throat> I don't know. I guess I'll see when, when I upload this and, and edit it and stuff. So this week we are doing the uh, day to night look with the perfect palette that we picked up from Holt Look. This is the look that I came up with and I have two lippies at the end. One is the Orange Gina from Milani Color Statement. I love this lipstick. It is just so out there. But I'm telling you what, you couldn't put anything on your lips that looks better on green eyes than this lipstick. Are you serious? And then the second one that I did is just a, it, it's pretty much like the same color, but way toned down. And it is NYC's Peach Fizz. So that, at the end of the video, you'll see two different lips that I got going on. And this one that you see right here is kind of a mixture of both. <laughs> the base was this, and then it wasn't quite as bright as I wanted it to be, so I popped some of the color statement on top of it. So I hope that you guys enjoy these videos that we're going to be doing for you. So if you want to if you want to get this here 
And keep them on with you. Okay, so I'm starting out with some NYX pore filler. Um, I've got some pretty serious, um, like, craters is what I call them on my face. But I was a picker when I was younger with pimples. I didn't just let them go. So I used a little bit of the pore filler to fill them up. And then a little bit of my IT uh, number 50 serum. Everything sets well on my face with this serum. I just love it. And then, um, okay, this is one of Ulta's... Uh, cream eyeshadows and I'm doing this because you know the perfect palette is a very neutral palette there's not much of you know it's just browns and neutrals and I wanted a little bit more on my eyelids than just uh, you know a brown or a cream color so I'm putting a olive a metallic olive green um, around my eyes basically I'm framing my eyes with it I'm using it as a primer on the top lids obviously and right here I'm just putting that same olive green underneath and I'm going to be putting, you know, a, a neutral colors on top of that, but it really, you know, gives them a, a different um, dimension. Just smudging that out a little bit up into my crease. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of e.l.f. primer for my, for the upper 40. <laughs> I swear you could land a plane on my eyelids. Okay. Oh, my IT Cosmetic Brushes. Okay, and I'm going in with... Oh, my gosh. Really, Julie? <laughs> okay, that is Goddess out of the P Perfect palette. I am covering up the... Uh, the uh, cream shadow base from Ulta with the color Goddess out of the palette. And I'm just taking that down below, too. Okay, and then I'm going into Oasis, and this is a, uh, another matte out of the palette. And the Oasis, or the Goddess color that I did first, that is a uh, shimmer. Kind of a satin shimmer. But I'm just um, lining the bottom rims with that Oasis right on top of that cream sheen. And now I am putting um, the Oasis into my crease. I just love this color. I love it. And I almost just left it like this, but I felt like, oh, that's that's kind of the day look, you know. I've got to amp it up a little bit more than that. So here I'm just building it up a little bit to give it a little bit of depth. you got to put quite a bit of product in my crease to make it look like there's a crease there. <laughs> and not that five-mile-long hood. And I'm just taking my big old IT brush and blending that out a little bit. Oh, these brushes are just gorgeous. Now, this is a little Japanese brush I bought from um, Ulta, and I love the brush. It's just gorgeous. But, you know, for as pricey as Japanese is, you would think that uh, the emblems on the dang thing wouldn't have worn off like that that's what I was showing you but it's a beautiful little brush it's nice and small um, it's a fluffy brush but it just gets you right where you want to be I just love it and at first I started to do my outer V with this fluffy brush this little bitty brush and I decided yeah that just wasn't working for me so I grabbed one of my IT fluffers and it just works beautifully and what I am applying in my outer corner here and a little bit into the crease is the color wood rose out of the palette and I see that I completely cut that out showing you which one I was putting in there <laughs> so that's what I'm doing at this point is just building up the the depth with the wood rose and it is a satin a beautiful kind of a deep mahogany brown satin color or um, satin finish just gorgeous gorgeous color and there I was just showing you that this this uh, big brush that I'm using there to just kind of blend everything together is probably about three times the size of the um, the little fluffer I was using okay and this is just bare out of the out of the palette it's a, the white matte color called bare and I'm just using that to make it a little more seamless up there and I just hate bare skin in between you know under my brow and above my hood <laughs> I gotta put something there 
again just blending it out so the edges are diffused I do not like uh, you know a, a cut edge unless that's what I'm going for <laughs> okay now I am grabbing that Japanese glue man I'm showing you again how disappointed I am with the emblems coming off and I am taking a little bit of the color goddess I mean uh, Bellini and just brightening up the corners a little bit because the color that I have on the eyelids the goddess it's not really it's it's kind of a muted um, I don't know, a muted tan almost. And it just wasn't giving me the, you know, the lightness in my corners that I wanted, so. Okay, and this is the pencil that is in the palette. I do not like this pencil at all. <laughs> um, for one thing, it's black, and I don't, I generally really do not like black. I think it's just too harsh on my, you know, older skin. But I wanted to use the pencil that was in the palette, so. And you did not see what I was doing there, but instead of applying it directly to my upper lid, I was using a small liner brush and running it across the uh, the pencil and applying it that way. Oh yeah, here I am. There it is. I'm showing you right there what I'm doing. And that just gives it a... a you know, a, again, with the word diffused, it gives you a diffused line instead of, you know, the stark black, uh, goth looking. <laughs> I, I don't, I do not like, you know, black liner, um, especially on my upper lids. You know, I can deal with it in my waterline, but I'm just not really big with putting it on my, on my crepey lids. And of course, the IT Cosmetics liners are just precision at its best. <clears throat> Wiping my brushes off. Cleaning my eyes out. Can't stand it when shit collects in the corners. Cleaning up the mess underneath. A little bit of fallout from the, the few shimmer shades. Curling. And then I'm going to be coming in with the IT Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara. This has absolutely became my holy grail. I will never again be without it. I love, love, and I use it as a primer. I don't use it as my main mascara. But it just, it, it preps your lashes absolutely beautifully for, you know, what you're going to put on them. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I will be coming in with uh, Illegal Lengths from Maybelline. That is a fiber mascara, by the way. Not what I'm doing here. That's still IT. That's still the tight line. But here in just a minute, I'm going to be coming in with the Illegal Lengths fiber. One of my f more favoritest. Oh, okay, well, wait a minute. I, uh, somewhere along the line, <laughs> okay, I put falsies on. <laughs> it would appear I cut that out. Well, I know, I know I did, I cut it out. I didn't want the video to be any longer than it was going to be, and falsies take me a while to put on. Because I'm kind of anal, you know, they have to be, I want them to look as real as possible. I take a little bit of, um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, okay. Now, I was going to show you that normally I take a little bit of the IT Feel the Moment Primer and put it under my eyes, but uh, since I got this e.l.f. under eye primer, I have not been using that. I've been saving it for, you know, moisturizing around my lips and stuff, but this e.l.f. under eye primer is wonderful, you guys. It keeps the powders from settling into any wrinkles or lines. I am in love with it, and I'm so glad that I ordered as many as I did when I did, because every time I go back there just to browse around, I see that it's sold out. So everybody else must be loving it, too. Okay, and here is Paula's Choice. Uh, Paula Bagone, I think. Bagone's her last name. One of her foundations I put on there. And I'm powdering my uh, primer first, 
just a little bit though I don't use very much you don't want to buff it in you know you're not using that much primer or you're not using that much powder on top of your primer it just gives the powder or the foundation a lot better staying power and again I'm only using what is in the cap of the uh, of the sample that I got and it, you can tell look at the the coverage is absolutely full coverage I mean it's just like magic boom everything was gone all the imperfections uh, the color was a tiny bit light for me but I you know I was able to warm it up pretty good okay and then um, going in with Paula's Choice Concealer and this is kind of it looked really light when I first put it on but this on the web page it says it's almost kind of a universal shade and it totally blended in to my skin <laughs> so um, the other day when I had the allergy problems I really was digging up my eyes and I've got this little red blood vessel I must have popped or something right in my eye and that's what I was doing just now was concealing it I'm going in with my Holy Grail which is my bye bye under eye and I have found that the little paddle brush that came in my IT travel set is just beautiful for doing under eyes of all the un of all the brushes I have for under eyes and I've got one from IT cosmetics that is a you know a precision foundation a concealer brush and I still like this paddle brush better it is beautiful it gets right up next to your you know to your eyeshadow and stuff so that you don't have to worry about wiping it away or smudging it um, it's just gorgeous gorgeous brush I love it a little bit of highlighting is all I know it doesn't look like it but I don't like the whole lit from within by an LED glow light, a grow, grow light or something I think it looks ridiculous you should not look like you have a grow light behind your eyes <laughs> I just don't think it looks right I'm going in with a little bit of bye bye pores and I'm just setting my under eyes and tapping a little bit where I put the bye bye under eye just a tiny bit a little powder as little powder as possible and now I believe I'm going in with a little bit of cream contour now I'm using the cream contour because if I was going out if this was a legit night look that I was using that's what I would use is cream and that is my sleek contour palette in dark I know I know the faces <laughs> doesn't matter how long I've been doing this if I try to contour without doing that with my face um, I get it wrong <laughs> it doesn't matter how long I've been doing it it's just goofy as hell and you gotta do the chin Got a slender eyes, slender eyes. <laughs> now again, if I was going out, I would probably have a low cut shirt and I would be doing this this contouring on my neck and on my collarbones, on my decollete, I would be doing that. And I do that because I like to, you know, I mean I I just I like doing it. I like taking them extra steps. Um, I know my nose, you can see it all, but just watch. I'm just taking off the little extra product that's on that brush, getting it all off so the brush is nice and clean, and then I blend that out. So that it's not, um, you know, too like it was before. <laughs> <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, if you are going to contour your nose, uh, for the best effect, you want to... Um, contour white just like you contour dark so I take a little bit of the set and put it alongside the edges like you saw okay now this is I have the blush in my Mac palette but this is the NYX cream blush in orange <laughs> but you know really lightly it looks fantastic okay and then I am just setting that cream blush with uh, Milani's warm petals out of their first rose blush collection
then I wait till the end to do my eyebrows. Now I'm just kind of blending everything a little bit together, or together a little bit rather. Um, okay, now see, <laughs> I was a little confused on what highlight I wanted to use. That was the Hard Candy, um, gosh I can't even remember what the name of that one is, but and then I used a little bit of my Kevin Aquan. <laughs> I try to use it so sparingly, but I just have to put a little bit on my face. <laughs> and then here is my um, airbrush illuminizer from IT Cosmetics. I don't really use this to highlight on my cheeks and stuff. I do this to put that, you know, the little bit of glow back in my face from what using mattifying products takes out. Because I don't like to be completely matte. Yeah, I was I was a little um I wasn't I I wasn't really sure what I wanted to use the hard candy or the Kevin Aquan, and you know I didn't edit out one of them so you got you got to see me packing them both up. <laughs> and that is just the Milani wax stick that I put on first and the Urban Decay brow box in brown sugar. Oh man, I've got so many brow products. I've got several Anastasias. I've got several dip brows, several, you know, pencils. Um, I've got the Sally. I've got so many eye products or brow products, but I just keep going back to my Urban Decay brow box. The color matches me so well. And here I go on my damn eyebrows again. <laughs> Oh, they just kill me. It just kills me. You know, the funny thing is, is uh, eyebrows are, you know, they're, they're, they're not ever identical, ever. I, I think it looks more bizarre to see an eyebrow that's identical to the other than one that is a little bit off kilter. But, you know, when I'm putting my brows on, I just cannot help going all ballistic anal on them. It drives me nuts. And a little bit of M. Milani brow gel to lock and load them. And then this is my brow palette that I put together for MAC. Um, I'm putting a little bit of cream boulet and then a little bit of blanc type underneath my arches. And now I'm just blending it all together, all those highlighters that I couldn't make up my mind about, all of it together. And then my NYX lip liner in orange. And there's so little color on my eyes, you know, there's just that little pop of green um, from the, the cream base that I use. But other than that, it's just very, uh, you know, almost, almost monotone. I mean, it's just not the color that I usually use on my eyes. It's, it's just not there. So I wanted to go really bold on my lip. <laughs> oh, yeah, lovely, looking like a crazy cat lady with my hair like that. <laughs> Nice. Now what the hell am I doing? Oh gosh, I'm sorry I didn't edit this out. Wow. La la la. Oh, I was getting a different lipstick. Okay, so I'm wiping that off and I'm going to pop on the Peach Fizz from NYC. Nice. I normally would have edited this out. Good job, Julie. Jeez. Okay, there's the Peach Fizz. Yeah, spray, 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 spritz, spritz, whiff, whiff. That is and, it, guys. Uh, everything in the yeah, down bar nice. is what I use. <laughs> um, I hope that you like this look that I come up with. And if you guys like this little collaboration me and Lynette have going on, let me know. And uh, I think we're gonna be we're gonna do it a few times and see if you guys like it. Then we will keep it up as a regular, maybe a regular Friday fab. Um, you know, two looks, one palette, two people. <laughs> Okay, I love you all so much. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.